Welcome back to the video. If you look at your program and your new dual sets edge controller, I got a video for you. This is an update video to the other video that we dropped. And this is my limited edition dual sense edge. I'm going to show you exactly how you can go ahead and program it. You don't need a PlayStation 5. So if you're looking to program it, your dual sense edge, you don't have a PlayStation 5 and you're using it for a PC, you're in the right place. So right now I'm on my, my PC and I'm using an app called DSX and it's my favorite app to be honest. To me, to me, it works better than DS4 Windows. I use DS4 Windows as well sometimes, but I feel like DSX has less latency in my opinion. And the app, the app itself is more intuitive and it's a lot more easier to use. So I'm going to show you guys, you can go ahead and download it. So to download it, you got to go to your Steam and you need, the version I have is version 3.0. If you don't want to pay the extra $5, you can get the version 2.5. It's still going to cost you about $5 but I promise you it's worth it. So I already have mine installed and everything, but you gotta go to the store and then you just type DSX. So you type DSX and then it'll come up. So basically there's two different things that will come up. So this is the via version three early access, you know, is available for $4.99 and also the regular DSX is also available for $6.49. Well, it's Canadian dollars, so it might be cheaper for you. So it's gonna be five US dollars for you, $6.49 for me. You click on the app, go on to go to the bottom, right? Go to the bottom of the screen and you can buy, um, you can buy the DSX here. I already have it, so I don't need to buy it again. And you can also purchase the, uh, the, the, the version three early access of 499, which is key dollars to me, but it's up to you if you want to purchase that. Some of you may have an older version. So when I'm launching mine, it's going to basically launch, um, Steam is already open DSX. So it's going to ask me here. So I'm going to launch into version 2.5. Just to show you what 2.5 will look like. You can skip all this part if you don't want to see this part. But some people won't want to pay the extra money. So you uh, version 2.5 will still work. It's, it's still good. You still will be able to program the, uh, the back buttons. But you just won't have the extra features that version 3.0 will give you. So this is version 3.0, 2.5, right? So this is the last version that they released before the 3.0. So when you go to this one, you can see that there's a controller, uh, games, key sense to key settings, so you can change it around. So this is where you're gonna be here. You're gonna do the changes and you're gonna go home. And over the left, you're gonna do all the changes. So I have my light and everything set up. So when you connect your controller, your DualSense Edge, particularly to the PC itself, what it's gonna do is that it's gonna bring up to you the extra settings on the left. Yeah, so look on the left, you can see here that mine's programmed to X and circle for the, and then I could also assign the FN button. So these are the FN buttons. So the FN, left FN and the right FN. So these both row buttons, you can program to different things like what you wanna program it to. So I have mine programmed to triangle and box and zero circle and X, right? So I have it programmed that way and you can definitely go use that program that method and program your back button so you see go to controller you know the good thing about it too is it shows you if the controller is working also you can see at the bottom of it as stick drift this will definitely be way out of sync so it shows you here as well so you can use it to test your controller as well to know if your controller has stick drift right so emulator i have dual set dual, dual shock 4 for mine i'm going to show you guys version 3.0 now because i have access to version 3.0 so i'm going to relaunch dsx I have version 3.0 already, so it's automatically launched to 3.0, but it will launch in 2.5, we have 2.5. But here's where it gets really, really good now. So for programming your back button, version 3.0, as I told you guys, it's extra, but it's worth it. So for me, I can use a DualSense emulator, right? So I can literally use a DualSense emulator. So I no longer have to do DualShock 4. So my control will act like a PS5 controller. You have DualShock 4 emulator. To Xbox 360. So this is if you want to see, um, you know, it, the the symbols. I don't know somebody asked me this question before. How do I get it to show, uh, you know, the PlayStation symbols like square box triangle all that? This is where you change that. So I'm going to put mine to Dual Sense emulator. Now, if you want to program the bot bot button, you have to go to your left right here. Let me make this bigger so you guys can see it. So when you go to your back, you click Dual Sense Edge, right? And you can see here, you know, you have access to all the settings from the controller. So this is the same settings that you can do on your PlayStation 5. So you don't need a PlayStation 5 at all. So 
On the left, I have different profiles. So I have mine set to wartime, race, and profile three. So I'm gonna delete this profile three right here and show you guys. So some of you will, uh, some of you will say no, not assigned here. So you have to kind of assign it. So this is the function button on your left. So when you press the function button and I press circle, it's gonna go to whatever profile I assigned it to. So I'm gonna do, so when it comes to the box button, I'm going to assign it. So I'm going to do my left paddle. I'm going to do circle. And then my right paddle, I'm going to do X for jump, right? You can change the around. You can map all your triggers, your buttons, everything you want to whatever you want, whatever suits your fancy. Now, this is what makes version 3 so much more better. Is that when you can, when you go here, I'm going to show you guys here. When you go to here, you go to stick dead, stick sensitivity dead zone. You can adjust your stick sensitivity dead, dead zone amazing so you can even adjust your trigger dead zone right now mine's set to 250 so mines would activate at 250 right so mines will go all the way to 250 right so if i want i can set it all the way down to one so the minute i press my control is activated the reason why i don't set mines to one is because sometimes i find myself accidentally pressing my trigger so i like to set it to two or three so two or three so it will It'll be instant. So as soon as you press the, your trigger, it's going to be activated. So you can set your dead zone here. Those are the main things I mess around with myself personally. But if you want, you can definitely mess around with different settings. This is actually compatible with PlayStation VR 2 as well. And there's so much settings and so much different features you can do on version 3. But when it comes to just the value that this thing provides, it's worth the money that you're spending. You know what I mean? If you have a DualSense Edge and you love using it, Get the software is a must. So here we have adaptive triggers. You have controller LED. So this is where you control the LED for the controller. So right now it's set to blue. I could change mine to red, whatever I want to set it to. So if I set mine to, I, I, I love I love the pink color. Pink is pretty, pretty dope. So you can set yours to whatever. I don't think I'm saving it. Okay, so I can set it to pink. All right, so right now mine's set to pink right now. Um, so it's breathing in pink. And you can even do the battery. You can even see the battery light. Everything, dude. Like you can map, you can customize it. Like it, you can make it show. So basically you can make it so that like if your control is dying, it'll flash whatever color. So if it's if it's red, you know the control is dying. And if it's green, you know that the, the battery is full, right? So this is amazing. So that's an amazing feature that I love about it. So for me, I'm just gonna put that breathing and I'll put it at purple, breathing purple. You can also set it to multicolor as well. Um, but I'm gonna set mine to purple and breathing. All right, so basically this is it right now. And then you can go to controllers and you know what I mean? You can look at the controllers, test to see if the controller is working. You notice that every time I press a button, it, it corresponds with that whatever button I'm pressing. So it shows me right here that the control is working, the back buttons are working and everything. Um, the touchpad, you know, everything is working perfectly. Um, you can even change the, 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 the pad for, you, know, you can even do the green screen effect. So what this means is that you can add this to your, to your actual computer. If you're a streamer, you can use the green screen so that way it'll, your control will show up on the on the, on the um, computer whenever you're streaming so people can see the control that you're using and the buttons that you're pressing. So this is amazing for streamers. The, 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 the possibilities and the customization is just endless. And I would personally recommend anyone to get this. It's only going to cost you about $8, but trust me. The amount of features that you have, it's worth it. Would you rather spend $8 to get this software that's work amazing with the PlayStation controller. Moreover, this this is what makes this so much better than the version 2.5 is this. If I go to here, whatever I save, whatever profile I save in this controller, it's saved internally on the controller. So I can use it on my PS5 anything. So it internally saves. When I use version 2.5, it's not safe to the controller. If I use DSX to pro program it, it's not safe to the controller. So this software right here, trust me, I think it's amazing and it's worth it. I've been using it for the past year and I recently upgraded to version 3.0 and I'm, I wonder why did I upgrade to version 3.0 along? 
Like Palaverse did an amazing job with this software and I'd recommend anyone to get it. If this, if this video was helpful to you in any way possible, make sure to hit that subscribe button, help the channel grow. Trust me, I, I could use your support. Uh, you know, we're trying to make it our way to 2000 subscribers. Hit that subscribe button, help the channel grow. Hope that you enjoy a new DualSense Edge controller. If any custom parts and accessories, check out my friends at Xtreme Rate. I got a link in the description as well uh, for all these different parts that you can get for your DualSense Edge uh, so you can customize it and make it more personal. Until next time, see you again. Peace.